In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a basic podcast using GarageBand. So this is for all you Mac users out there, and GarageBand is a great piece of software. So when you first open GarageBand by clicking on the guitar icon down here at the bottom, uh, you'll be presented with an interface that looks something like this. So we're going to create a new project, and then you've got a number of options of types of projects you can create here. The podcast option would actually have you create what's called an enhanced podcast with images. So we're going to avoid that one for today and just do a basic voice. So double click that to open. And then give your project a name. Save it somewhere where you can find it later and click create. All right, when you first open it, uh, it defaults to having two tracks, a male basic and a female basic. I'm obviously not a male, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. To get rid of the track, you just select it, and you click on them to select them. See how it's turning blue here? And then you go to track, because you want to do something with the track itself, and delete the track. All right, now for this particular podcast, I'm going to have some intro and outro music. Uh, and then some recorded narration up the middle. So that means I want to add a track here to put my intro and outro music on. I like to keep things on separate tracks just to give me a little bit more control. So I'm going to go up to track. Remember we're doing something with the tracks. And I'm going to put on just a basic track to put that music on down below. All right, now where do I get my music from? Well, in GarageBand I've got a couple of options. If I go up to control, and show the loop browser. There are built into uh, GarageBand a bunch of different little jingles and things that we can use. So here in the music uh, view we can choose a type of music that we want to put on here. So maybe I want cheerful music and then it'll show me how many beats that is or how many seconds. So this is a 13 second clip this one's a 16 beat or 16 measure uh, piece. So if I wanted to use one of these, I could just drag it on. Okay, so maybe I want that as my music for my podcast. I would just drag it with my mouse up onto that basic track that I made. And then I could clip off a bunch of this stuff at the end by just coming to the end of it and uh, dragging it back or I could use my playhead here and go to edit and split the clip. That would cut some of it off and I could delete it. So there are a couple of different ways you can go about editing those clips. Another option, um, if you click on this little it looks like an irradiated head <laughs> for some reason, but that's the, the icon for podcast. If you click on that, uh, it sorts it in a different way. We've got jingles that you can use, stingers, which are like the sound effects they use on the radio, like that. Um, and there are other sound effects too, machines and people and whatever. Uh, if you want to use some sound effects in your podcast, you could just drag those onto the timeline wherever you wanted them. Okay. Another option that you have is to um, go to control and show media browser. And that would actually allow you to go onto your computer's hard drive and find a piece of music or sound effect that you've downloaded from something like Sounds Abound um, that you can use. Now be careful to use copyright cleared items because this will be posted online. Okay. All right, so that's the beginnings of it. That's how you kind of open the program, set up your tracks, and uh, drag on some intro music. When we come back, I'll show you how to record the narration, put on your outro music, and save it all.